right. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, once everything's set up, I'll get a good setup. Uh, but anyway, um, second part of Xenophobic show, and we're on to his story really now, I think, which he did want me to actually do in the first place, but then he said do the whole thing. Which, to be fair, the whole thing has been quite, yeah, has been good. I've enjoyed it. Um, let's keep going. Uh, their bologna is ostrich. Ostrich bologna? Yeah. That's pretty exotic. <laughs> well, we had government cheese, so that government cheese is pretty good, but they don't give you anything to drink. So what you do is, I learned this from the other prisoners, you put your cheese sandwich, it comes in a cellophane bag, the same kind of bag they try to charge me for <laughs> distribution of. You eat your sandwich, and then you line up behind a sink, and you pour water into your fucking little cellophane baggie. You tear off the little corner of it, and you just, like, drink it out of the bag. And that's how you drink in jail. So, Hold on. You know, when I was in there, I was a peanut butter. That was a stone no, move. Their, their bologna longer. is ostrich. Ostrich bologna? Yeah. That's pretty exotic. <laughs> well, we had government cheese, so that government cheese is pretty good, but they don't give you anything to drink. So what you do is, I learned this from the other prisoners, you put your cheese sandwich, it comes in a cellophane bag, the same kind of bag they try to charge me for <laughs> distribution of. You eat your sandwich, and then you line up behind a sink, and you pour water into your fucking little cellophane baggie. You tear off the little corner of it, and you just, like, drink it out of the bag. And that's how you drink in jail. So, you know, when I was in there, I was meeting all kinds of cool people. People there just okay, down right. on their luck, in there for traffic warrants, people in there because repeat offenses. I met this one guy. He got out. He was in there on a felony charge. I guess it was like possession of like guns or something. And uh, you, you never know if people are like telling you the actual truth, but they all tell you some sob stories in there. And this one guy was telling me about how he got out of jail and he was going to go on the straight and narrow and be all clean. His buddy came to pick him up and stuff. And the guy's like, "Hey, man, I want to drive. You know, I'm driven a while." So and the guy and the, and his buddy was tired, so he drove the car. They got pulled over for some kind of infraction or maybe some, you know, some reason they got pulled over. He didn't even know it. His buddy had a gun in the fucking uh, glove compartment. And the guy's driving and he's out and he's, you know, on probation and you can't let anything else happen to you, right? Right. But he's out and he gets pinned with having the gun and he's fucking back in the pen again. So I met some really cool cats and, you know, I was like... Telling everybody my story, and I mainly spoke with a lot of Hispanics because there's a ton of Hispanics in the L.A. jail. And they're like, oh, yeah, you go to UCLA, and I was doing the whole college thing. I was telling about my college days, and I was making people laugh, and I was very comfortable. And I made friends with a lot of the Mexicans there. So not to be racist. I don't know. It's just different <laughs> gangs and shit. People, like, I started learning what the tattoos meant, like the little teardrops. By your eye means you've actually whacked somebody, and like little certain signs yeah, and I tattoos know. let them know like what certain things that they've done. So I was down with the fucking, you know, the La Raza. I was down with La Raza down there, you know, my people of brown color and all that kind of stuff, you know, because we, the people of brown skins, we hang together because, you know, you got <laughs> the, the Asians that crossed over from the Bering Strait and became the Native Americans, and then you got the mixture of the Spanish. So it's like Mexicans are like my long lost cousins, you know what I mean? Yeah. So when some fool tried to jack me for my Nikes, he just came straight up, you know, not to be, I'm not trying to make it a racial thing, but this black dude came up to me, he was like, yo, fool, give me your fucking Nikes, right? Yeah. I'm looking at him, I'm like, what do you want my Nikes for, man? I'm looking at him, he's like a fucking size 10, I'm like a size 8, what the fuck do you want with my fool, my shoes for, right? So I'm looking at him, I'm like, what are you, I'm saying, like, why do you want my shoes, man? He's like, give me your fucking shoes. And the next thing I know, fucking two-thirds of the room stood up. All Mexicans. They said, yo, back the fuck down, my ate. Which is their, you know, derogatory term for, like, black people. Right. You know, and the guy fucking just backed down. I'm like, I'm fucking like, how you like me now, biatch? <laughs> you know? And they just started laughing, man. They're like, fucking Chino Loco and stuff. So, I mean, I had an interesting time in jail. It's not to say it's a fun place. Because you don't see the light of day. You don't right. see windows. You don't know how far underground you are. They move you from room to room. And they keep, the first couple of days you're there, they keep you so fucking tired. You just, you're dizzy. You don't know what the hell's going on. And when it's crowded like that, you got no place to sleep. They, yeah, they, you know? they moved me from County to Wayside because... Wait, you got what sent the wayside? Yeah, I, I okay. My the fifth way, day so. there, my fifth day there, after five days in the whole in the general holding cell, they gotta process you. 
When they send you to Wayside, that's like the next place. I think Wayside's actual prison, isn't it? Wayside, yeah. Yeah, and they put you in the blues and they fucking made you shower up. Yeah, I was... Dude, in- I was supposed to be processed on my fifth day and on the fifth day, it's either I get processed or I get sent to Wayside. They have me in my fucking prison oranges. I got to be a trustee. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got to be a trustee? <laughs> <coughs> I didn't because I was a shit-talking fool. At the third day I was there, I was like, I had enough of this. I want to fucking go home. I want to take a crap. I want to get some good food. You know, I want to get some sleep. So I'm like, I want my phone call. I'm going to call my lawyer now. At this point, I'm like, I'm going to get myself a lawyer. I've been here for three days, and I was only going to be here overnight. I want my lawyer. I know my rights. I want my fucking phone call. I'm fucking talking like this. And the guards just fucking grab me, the sheriffs. Mm -hmm. And don't fuck around with sheriffs, man. They're fucking, they are pissed off (laughs) people. They won't mess around. Yeah, and most of the sheriffs I know... Man, I shouldn't even diss the sheriffs because if a sheriff hears this, they're going to be sweating me. But most of the sheriffs I know are fucking corn-fed motherfuckers with no fucking brains, and you don't want to talk shit to them. Because after I demanded my phone call, they grabbed me. They threw me in this fucking tiny room. You can't even sit down. It's like a phone booth. They handcuffed me to the booth, and they said, enjoy your phone call. And they locked the door on me, and they left me in there all day. The phone wasn't even turned on. I couldn't even... I'm just sitting here chained up... And that's when I just realized I can't be stupid in jail. I have no rights. Yeah, you man. Don't talk once shit. you're in the system, man. Yeah. They will yeah. own you. They own they you, own, man. They won't. I don't care who you, you see are. it like even in apples. You, the way they want to treat you, and that, I don't know. And that's you, where they get off. And you got it. And you. That's and, how they get off. Yeah, that's how they get off. I mean, what other joys do you have being a guard? You know, having to like work, I guess, w- around, I guess, the the scum of the earth as they see it. You know, people down and and out. But you know. Man, when I realize in jail, you you think about people who are in jail, and of course some people in there deserve to be in there, and but you know you just think about like the system and how people are just desperate and struggling, and people kind of do certain things, or some people are in there on stupidity like me, or on traffic warrants, or they you know they have traffic violations, they can't keep their car legal. There's all kinds of reasons There's why people stupid, in there. Stupid reasons yeah. they put people in there. Yeah, and we're not all criminals. We're not all bad people, no. but the system, man, you get you kept being put in places like that and treated like an animal. You're gonna fucking be pissed off at the world and stuff like to that. To be honest, so real, uh, that's the reason why I'd never ring the police, and it's not for any dis. Well, it's not for any real dislike of the police, but it's just that once they're involved, it's very hard. Like it just becomes a whole different situation. Like situations normally will fizzle out. If you don't involve the police anyway. Um, But once the police are involved, they fucking... Yeah. But anyway, let's go. A lot of cool people in there. And I met some cool people in there that were in there for some serious, like, stuff. Like, attacking people and and stuff. But when you meet people one-on-one and you treat them like a person, they're going to... I met so many nice people in jail, you know? So many... a lot of cool people there. (laughs) I fucking gave a ride to this one dude. He's a fucking straight-up pimp. (laughs) <laughs> he just came, he came out and he was like fuck where are my girls my girls supposed to be coming and picking me up and shit like that and my buddy came to pick me up he was like yo and I gave him a ride I was talking to him he was really cool so we gave him a ride down to where he lived out in Compton and stuff and he's like yo you want to stick around we're going to have a party I'm going to bring my strawberries over here so I guess that's his lingo for his girls bring his strawberries over yeah. I'm like no man I got to fucking go home I got to take a shower I got to take a <laughs> shit you know what I mean my stuff is impacted <laughs> And in a good way. I don't mean impacted, you know. No, <laughs> no. pushing back, no uh, entry, no forced entry. I was cool. Down there, so, you know. Yeah, the first game I got put in uh-huh. was uh, in county. They put me up in the 9,000 floor, and there's a floor full of trustees except this one dorm. He's and pretty so boy. I, Look at pretty boy. Gets you know, gets little perks and benefits. I get you get to be a dorm. trustee. I get put in this dorm uh-huh. and uh, got big screen TV in there. Fucking thanks, a, man. Thanks. To Robert Downey Jr., I guess he donated them to the county. Oh, he donated. Oh, okay. How that he, he was came in down there to get your back? No, no, no. Because oh. he was in there and he wanted to donate TVs, big screen TV. So, you know, because he knew how it was in there. So we're watching. <laughs> What's up, Robert? Shout out to Ra- Robert Downey <laughs> yeah, Jr. Robert. What's up? Thanks a lot. Hey, yeah. <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah, he got to watch that the USC no game bags on it. To watch well, the you gotta see. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I go there and uh, there's like eight woods in there. Eight woods? Yeah. What's a wood? A woods white guy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Why are they called woods? I, that's just the term, man. You got wood? <laughs> that's just the term. <laughs> all right. And But they wouldn't, like, help me out at all. 
So I had to run with the Southsiders. There's like, Southsiders are Mexican. Uh-huh. And, uh, gang Mexicans. And they, they helped me out. They hooked me up big time. Mexicans are fucking nice people, man. Pruno. They're fucking nice people. <laughs> I was drinking Pruno. I had, I had a cigarette the first day I was in there. What the fuck is Pruno? Pruno, alcohol. Oh, alcohol? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like some prune juice special. No, no, county alcohol. Oh, man. See, you learned. You were, I'm, see, I'm back Ben in the was corner. in there longer than I was. See, I was, if I was in, in the there corner, for a month and a half. A cigarette. <laughs> I didn't get no cigarettes. Shit. I didn't get shit except for cheese sandwiches and tap water in a bag. But I Shout got out. to keep my Nikes. There's <laughs> a loud, proud Budo Su Trece. Budo Su Trece. Hey, man, we. I hope you, like, made some friends down there, man. We'll, we'll fucking hook up like Lorazo. I have the people fucking listen to this shit, too, man. Oh, man. But, th yeah, they hooked me up, and South Siders took care of me. Yeah. You know? I told you, man. The fucking Mexicans had my back in jail, too, man. Not to say anything against other races of blacks. I didn't meet... I think I met one other uh, Asian guy in there, and he was in there for a traffic infraction. He looked like he was about to shit his pants. You so know what, though? I wasn't hanging with him, man. You when, know? when I went to uh, Wayside... I ran into the guy, um, one of the, my buddies that was in Gwen Stefani music video with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. over a year and a half ago, I ran into this guy, so we hung out there. <laughs> he was a trustee, too. I don't want to say his name or nothing, since his what? agency doesn't know he's in there. Yeah, but he you, lied just, to his agency. you just <laughs> fucking gave it away by saying he's in the Gwen Stefani. Oh, uh, no, there's a bunch, yeah, <laughs> there's I a guess bunch, a bunch of, of people. Yeah. Right. But what about your agency? That's why I was like, hey, Ben, I'd oh, love to have this show. Knows. I know. My but, agency knows my manager but, knows all this. Yeah, but you didn't do anything wrong, so it's not like, yeah. you know. And it's not like you're completely top tier echelon yet. Where we, they would, if that was true, your fucking the videotape of you breaking and entering would be on entertainment tonight. <laughs> yeah. Shit, you fucking charging in, grabbing your shit, walking out. <laughs> oh man! But they, they like what kept me in there a long time, or as long as I was in there, was because they kept. I had my court dates ran till the end of December. Uh huh. And so. The rest of the time I was in there till today was just getting processed out. Uh huh. So my and where did he where like did he come to first 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 out of the out of the cell yeah. shows up here man he comes here he's got his bag full of his stuff you know <laughs> full of my books like you have like like rounders Edward Norton's got his little fucking toothpick inside the little yeah. cellophane bag. Oh man, the, when they arrested me they wouldn't even let me put my shoes on so I have county shoes. He's got his county shoes on. Hey, they're fucking they're comfortable looking. They're Vans. <laughs> They, not, just be comfortable. they look like vans. Well, I know, but <laughs> they look like vans. They're pretty nice, dude. Keep them as a memento. Yeah. They're sweet. They're black, dude. I'd love to wear these things, man. Dude, on, but I don't want to go to jail not. again just to get my hands on some county prison black. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd rather <laughs> not gone through that whole thing and <laughs> but been out a pair of county yeah, shoes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, you, you, you can't say that, well, at least you learned your lesson because you didn't do anything wrong, except for, I guess, you learned your lesson not to piss off PR people. Yeah. You want to tell people who this fucker is? Shoot. Or do you, you think... I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, a, I'm pretty leery because I don't know if there's some legal aspect that he could give me on this time. Well, no. Are you out of the clear? I'm out of the clear, Okay, yeah. so there is no such thing as double jeopardy. They can't charge you for the same thing twice. So this dude, if this dude wants to get you back, he'll get you back some other way. All right, you guys watch out for Jason Rosenberg. Jason Rosenberg, you fucking Jew motherfucker. You know what? You're going <laughs> you down. You got a restraining order you on me. Jew motherfucker, you. I got out that I'd come get him. He don't got a restraining <laughs> order on me, biatch. <laughs> to be fair, man. No, I'm kidding. We can't, like, you know, threaten people. Not to make it a race thing, when he said Jason Rosenberg, I did think, mm. kind of explains it a bit. <laughs> a little bit, like, yeah, I kind of get why he fucking went so severe and shit, yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Well, like, over the internet, that's a oh, I'm not threatening I know, I'm just kidding. I'm, not I'm just kidding, but I'm fucking Ben's my shit. homie, man. You did him wrong. It's, that shit's going to come back and bite yeah. you on the, on the tip, man. Karma he is did. a bitch. To be fair, no, I'll say your mate is more at fault in his story than you are in yours. I mean, you can say, obviously, yeah, you shouldn't have a pound of weed, but, I mean, but, like, not even them making it a, about the sandwich bags meaning, because I know, yeah, pretty much with weed, I can... Even in the UK, it's like that. It's illegal, but you can have up to a certain amount of plants, and you really won't get, you won't go to prison for it. If you can basically prove it's for personal use, then they'll just take it off you. But it's only if they can attach. It's like if you get caught with scales in your house, 
if you get caught with scales here, yeah, that's like an inst like um, cooking scales. That's like you'll go to prison for them alone because yeah, they know you're not cooking with them. But the fact that you got snitched on, which he got snitched on, but there was kind of more stupidity on his part, whereas yours just seemed to be like a yeah a situation that was forced upon you whereas his seems a bit more like a situation he kind of blindly skipped and danced merrily into <laughs> without realizing like he's like yeah the person who skipped and danced off the edge of a cliff without realizing it but let's go karma is work, a bitch man i wouldn't work with him yeah, well, hopefully... I didn't work with him. And... Is this guy... How, how powerful is he? How powerful? He's just like low-level fucking... He level powerful fucking... enough to freaking get me thrown into Well, county. no, anybody could I'm be, man. County. I could fucking throw you yeah, in the fucking county of Tech County. Uh, but does this guy have some major headliners that he works with, or... Nah, I mean... Or is he just like he, one of them bottom-feeder but... entertainment types trying to hook into something good? He's up there, but... Oh, is he? Yeah. Jeff Rosenberg? Jason Rosenberg. Jason Rosen. Rosen. All right. Well, no, whatever. I'm not in the biz, so you can't touch me, biatch, so. <laughs> I don't know, man. I gotta learn to watch my step. Well, you just. Well, then, no yeah, wonder as well. I hate to say it, but your mate should have expected something. If he's a big deal, <laughs> he broke into his house, even just to get his stuff back. Yeah, well. Yeah, anyway, let's go. Fucking go into somebody's house without. I, I mean, I had a bunch of stuff there. I and he I got back. People. See, I have mates like school. this. I, showed I have up mates there. like I, exactly I, like this. I been home, but I knew the way, and I'm like, I lived there. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were friends. We didn't have a falling out. Like him, he so was he just off. kept he just kept he it to himself, off. huh? Yeah, I knew he was pissed I hate off. People but like friends that. get pissed off at friends, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, then you work the you shit out. You talk about someone in jail because you're pissed off at them if you're. You do if you're a whiny little bitch but and you got fucking yeah. issues. His parents are high. That's true. Rich <coughs> and he grew up in as stupid as your mate is, uh -huh. it, yeah. you know, it falls on the No offense to the other Jews well. out there, but you know, we, we all know how it works in this entertainment business. So I'm, Man, I'm not trying to ditch, dish fire, the Jewish you know? nation, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> You're going Kanye. You're going Kanye on their asses. Oh, man. Oh, dude. So, God, first yeah. thing Ben does is comes in and spells up my bathroom, and, but I noticed that he came out of jail. I thought he was holding it in, but uh, you can't do it for a month and a half, so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I, uh -huh. How'd it go, man? <laughs> oh, man. I, I had a long walk in county. <laughs> this is going to be great, man. We're just going to link this on MySpace or be like, be like, hey, everybody, this is what I did over the holiday season. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> I did Merry a special Christmas shoot. And... I yeah. went to the, I did the Wayside shoot. <laughs> yeah, the Wayside and County. Tell me about Wayside, man. They fucking transport you over there in a bus, and they, they transport you over to Wayside. They make 150 bucks every time they put you on that bus. Uh huh. And so every like every chance they got, they will transport you from County to Wayside, from Wayside to County, to County to Wayside. I got to, <laughs> like I wasn't in one place for over a week. The whole time I was in there, they kept moving me out and holding dude, themselves. They, dude, they do that. They do that to break you make, down. They, they want to confuse money you. Off of you. Oh, I see. When they rotate Every your... single time. Yeah. They keep those buses full to make money. Yeah, yeah. I guess once you're on their list and you're part of them, they get fucking, they get paid for having you over there. So I guess they ship Fuck. you around. Fuck. It's not Dave Randall who you sound like. It's, it's really annoying me. I cannot put my fucking finger on that voice. It's definitely someone I watch in podcasts because it's, yeah. Yeah, it's annoying me. And every place you go to, they get fucking paid for having you there, man. Yeah, prison is a fucking big business. Everybody knows they watch those like little prison specials on TV. They know that prison is a big business, and that's why prisons are fucking full, and that's why they keep trying to build more, because people get paid. They get paid. You know, prisons get paid money by the government. Your tax dollars going to work. Not yeah. necessarily, you know, rehabilitating people you know but made but just fucking keeping them keeping the people down pushing the people down push, making them feel like animals making them feel like shit turning them loose 
so and turning them loose so they can go out and get put back in prison again. Oh, yeah. So they can tax something. your money some more and fucking feed off the average citizen and just keep the system going, man. You know? Suck the butt out, yeah, man. Yeah, it's just sad. I mean, there's some people that belong in prison. Don't get me wrong. There's some people that are just belong there, and they just are fucking evil, and they just keep doing wrong and stuff, but there's a I lot of so downtrodden people, people that are just they happen to be there. Didn't just, belong yep. in there. Yep, that just happen to Not be there, ba- just in the bad circumstances, bad time, the bad place, and all that kind of stuff, you know? So we'll talk more about the prison. We're going to do this old style. I was telling Ben that in the time that he was gone, I kind of learned how to mess around with this software called Adobe Edition, and I can insert clean MP3 feeds. But we're going to do it old, old style today, just in just uh, in honor of Ben coming back. So I'm going to hunt up a nice little tune, and, and Ben can talk more about anything that you think that was interesting in jail, you know, anything that you want to talk about. interesting in jail? Well, I mean, oh, like a, you I don't know, know, I maybe a cool a little story. Of- Cool story. Who's the coolest person you met in jail that you want to give a shout out to right now? Somebody that you thought was cool, helped you out, whatever, you know? Shoot. Uh, this guy named China. Man, he, he taught me like a lot of the ways. What's up, China? What's up, China? This is Chino Loco over here, man. For when you get out, man. <laughs> He's still, a ha- he has four more years left. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he just got Keep it strong in there, man. Maybe we'll fucking mail you a disc of this, you know? And just I say, so keep, keep your spirits up, man. Keep keep it up and when you come out man just go the straight and narrow man just try to fucking keep your head up and out of trouble you know yeah, what i mean he was in there for bs too though and a lot of people are in there for bs i remember just and think about all the people that have just been executed like wrongly executed yeah. that's just got to be the worst when there you're in a, there for nothing when you get charged for something and you're, that is why we don't have execution just in case they're not actually guilty but that was like the main reason it got outlawed here. Tookie Williams got. Oh actually, yeah. And the, yeah, oh, Tookie got cookied. All, all the blacks, man, they had like little riots going on. Anyone that wasn't black had to stay low, because I saw so many people get boom bopped in there, just like beat in the corner because I don't know when Tookie got, you know, executed. Yeah, there was probably all took, kinds of rioting and stuff yeah. going on and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. People would have to go to the hospital, put on their browns, <coughs> go to the hospital. Well, I was looking up when I was there, I didn't see any violence. The only violence I saw there were the guards fucking taking down people. I, at one point when I was, like, uh, complaining about, like, I didn't want to take the fucking general shower, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I'm thinking, like, you know, I got the Mexicans got my back, but what's going on when I get processed at Wayside? Oh, and, they, yeah, they, and they make you take that big old shower yeah, with everybody. Like 50, I'm 60 like, people in there? Yeah, I kept oh, arguing. I'm oh like, I'm God. getting processed. I'm seeing a judge this afternoon. Why am I have to fucking take a shower? Why do you have to put me in the prison? And you don't argue, man, because they fucking knock me down. They put a knee on the back of my neck and, you know, they fucking handcuff my hands me on my back and just jerk my arms i'm like ah so uh you know like you're gonna you know you're gonna fucking cooperate and take that shower i'm like yeah (laughs) after five days you just want to do whatever the fuck you can do to get the fuck out of that place you know after the third day i'm like where's my phone call boom you know i'm fucking shoved into a small holding cell then like you think i would have learned my lesson the fifth day i'm like waiting to see the judge i'm so eager to see the judge i'm like why do i have to take this fucking shower boom they fucking whack me down so you know at the end of my stay there i was just like whatever what do you need me to do i will cooperate just let me get out of this place i want to go home i want my body <laughs> no but uh anyways yeah anyway, so china china's the one that like taught me all the like jailhouse Ways to get, you know, like the cool stuff, get the pruno, you know, make, get the make, pruno. make your alcohol, sneak, uh, <laughs> get, get the people to sneak cigarettes in for you and some, uh-huh. some weed in there for you. Right, right. And I don't know, it just taught me how to build a gym in a six man cell. And He didn't uh, teach you how to build and make a shank, did he? Nah. <laughs> he just nah. give one to you. And but. you can make they make shanks out of like Colgate cans, man. They slice open up a fucking tin can and you can press that stuff down there. Oh yeah. You learn how to make out like you, you learn how to fucking MacGyver. <laughs> yeah, MacGyver, man. How to turn anything into weapons. I could gouge your eyes out with this fucking penny. <laughs> oh, man. Stuff like People that. Plug in the phones, just light their cigarettes. And... Oh man, so yeah. Yeah, that's, that's here we are, Zen and Ben, fucking both people that have been 
tried and tested by the 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 LA penal system. Yeah. Uh, not completely tried and tested because we don't aims to go back, do we? No. We don't aims to go back, That's and uh, the thing the we're gonna go out with uh, a like, little song right here. Wait. Oh yeah. A little of the soggy bottom boys. Oh man, that's one thing I miss is the music, man. <laughs> Didn't get to hear any music while I was in there. All right. Well, you got to see TV. TV. You had Smokes and you had Pruno. But we're going out with the Jailhouse Blues right here. The Jailhouse Now. I had a friend named Traveling Ball. He used to see old gambling Rob and try to break into people's apartments and take their uh, stuff back. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, you can enjoy this song. <laughs> so this goes out to Chino. This goes out to all the people China. in China and Chino and all the people, La Raza, La Mayates, all the folk the in South there. Siders? The woods, the wood people, the, the South Siders. This goes out to all you people in jail right now. I just to look out for me. Keep the faith, man. And don't fuck with the system. You gotta find a better way to fuck with the system. You gotta, like, do what you can to, like, make your way in this world and then. Get out of LA. <laughs> no, man. Sometimes you gotta. Everyone was singing there. They're like, huh? you gotta get out of LA to stay out of jail. <laughs> Because they will just drag you in there for it. Crazy stuff. Well, maybe move to another country or something like that. Who knows? <laughs> I might leave it. All right, man. This is Zen and Ben. We tuned out. out. We're sounding out. We're going to do the old style fade. And uh, here we go. Goodbye. Yeah, that was definitely interesting. I'll have to watch other ones. So I'm like, yeah. Even just put them on because I'm more of a podcast person than anything else, really. Like, I don't know why I just love that form of entertainment. It's because I think, as well, you don't, it's great because it's um, unpredictable. When two people are just having a conversation, it's, it's becomes unpredictable and it's great. It's kind of what you're paying for someone to, um, yeah. To replicate, but yeah, that was good, now. Yeah, um, and I will. I think I'll just put some on. Cause like I say, I am. I'm always going through podcasts, and I fall asleep to podcasts and everything. I can't go to sleep without listening to something. Um, but yeah. I will say, your mate was definitely more to blame than you in that situation. But only through stupidity, not through, I'm not saying he's more to, like, he's, like it just seemed to be like, not even stupidity, just clumsy. Like, and kind of not thinking, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. But first, when he said, oh, it's your mate, his mate is bad. But then when he's a high-up agency guy, then, yeah. You could just, that's what the type of people you're dealing with. Um, but anyway, yeah. That's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs>